Ladies and gentlemen, we're here outside the White House, and the president has canceled his South American trip, and they're saying they have military options on the table to strike 24 targets inside Syria, including some targets where the Russian military is based. The Russians announced three weeks ago they're going to pull out. Trump announced two weeks ago that we were going to pull out, and it was a successful defeat of ISIS and al-Qaeda. But a lot of different parties, especially the EU and the globalists, and the former Obama-era people in the White House, and some of the neocons, they want to keep the U.S. there. They want a wider war. McMaster wanted that as well. The Russians have warned this could trigger, in fact may trigger, will trigger, a huge new world war. Because if the U.S. bombs Russian forces for the second time, we've already had Russian forces killed last year, they're saying they're going to respond militarily to the ships and the aircraft that fire the cruise missiles and drop the bombs. So you've got British uh, attack ships, missile cruisers, destroyers, and U.S. destroyers in the area with cruise missiles and aircraft saying uh, that they're going to strike within the next 48 hours. That was 24 hours ago. So they've said they're looking at striking the next 48 hours. And Trump says all options are on the table from a chemical attack, but there's no evidence that the Russians or Assad launched, and we've caught the rebels three times doing it. That's come out. Even the U.N. has admitted that. So it's incredible that the U.S. and Russia are pulling out. It's a big victory against al-Qaeda. And that doesn't seem to matter because right on time, this new attack takes place. So this is very, very critical time uh, to be alive. It's a very, very dangerous time to be alive, obviously, for all these nice folks here that are visiting the White House today and seeing the cherry blossoms that are coming into bloom. As a father of four children, it really upsets me because I've really been happy with what Trump's done with the economy, with the border, with national security, with standing up to political correctness, standing up to Hollywood, getting us out of the TPP, returning sovereignty back to our own country. But to now have Trump basically manipulated by Mueller and the whole fake Russia investigation to all these new sanctions and moving troops up to the Russian border uh, in Eastern Europe and all this talk of war and all these sanctions, and when Russia has not done anything to us. It's Hillary in bed with the Russians and the Communist Chinese. It's Mueller that's on the Russian boards and delivered the uranium on the tarmac to Russia a decade ago. It's incredible now that they're on to Stormy Daniels. that has nothing to do with Russia because that's all they've got trying to push Trump into firing Mueller because he has nothing. So they want to make it look like Trump is scared of him and hiding something because Mueller came up empty and has now moved on to a basically a high-priced hooker 11 years ago. And, and we didn't uh, elect Trump to be a saint. We elected him to get the job done as a CEO and turn the country around and make America great again. So let me be clear. Our military is on maximum alert right now. They're moving forces into the area. Trump said we're pulling out, saying no to the deep state. And then there's a chemical attack in a rebel-held area when the rebels, repeat, have been caught not once, not twice, but three times staging these. Everybody can put two and two together. So everybody needs to call Congress and the neocons Call the left, call them all that have been calling for war and say, are you people insane? This is not Iraq. This is not Libya. This is not some you know, tin horn dictator. This is Russia who's got a bunch of nuclear weapons and who's not done anything to us and who's helped us take on radical Islam. So that's the reality of what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm here letting the president know that we stand with him and are against a strike. He's already bombed that Russian base. Uh, with no evidence of the chemical weapons attack coming from there. And the Russians stood down that time. They stood down again when a bunch of Russian contractors got blown up a few months ago. And so this tension is very, very high. And the rhetoric out of Russia is we're prepared to counter-strike. If you strike us, we're going to strike you back. Uh, the Kremlin has said that. Putin has said that. If you strike our forces that are trying to pull out, why in the hell would you not want the Russians to pull out of Syria that's, that's everything the media claims they want, is get out of Syria. So the Russians are trying to pull out and the, and the leftists and the neocons and the globalists don't want that to happen. The EU also funded the collapse of the Middle East and the Arab Spring to destabilize the border regions of Syria, Turkey, so that 10 million, quote, refugees, most of military-age men, could come in to the country, uh, into Europe, into the EU. And so this is all part of a larger global destabilization program. And I'll assure you, if you see all these young people here, they're not being told about this in school. They don't even probably know how close we are right now. How's it going, guys? Look at these guys right here. They don't know how close we are to war. They don't understand how, 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 how much danger we're all in and the things that are going on. But the president does. So 
The president has canceled his trips. He's in there right now with his advisors, and they're telling him, you got to look strong. you got to strike these 24 targets. you got to kill these Russians because we can't let them get out of the country, sir. we got to expand this war and endanger the whole planet because, after all, Obama and Hillary founded the Arab Spring and ISIS and sent al-Qaeda in with the Benghazi weapons, and our whole global strategy is failing and America's coming back, so we've got to trick you as fast as possible into a new giant war. And after all, sir, Mueller's on your heels, all this made-up stuff. If you look tough and bomb the Russians, well, that'll really show them. Because no amount of sanctions, no amount of troops on the Russian border, no amount of that will ever prove anything to Mueller unless you have a nuclear war. If you have a big nuclear war, then Mueller, the real president of America, even though he's unelected, he will then be your buddy and love you. And he can go back to meeting the Russians on tarmacs and giving them uranium. So that, that's the insanity going on. And it's the deep state, it's the swamp. It's the bureaucracy manipulating the president, just like they did John F. Kennedy into the Bay of Pigs, the Cuban Missile Crisis, you name it. This is as bad as the Cuban Missile Crisis, but the Russians aren't in our hemisphere. They're not in Cuba. That had to be done. They are here on our doorstep, uh, that is the globalist, manipulating our president against Russia, and we are on their doorstep. We are on the Russian doorstep being manipulated by the globalists. So I've come to the president, and I'm asking all our viewers and all our listeners, everybody that's going to be watching and listening on the radio today, to call Congress, to call talk radio, to call C-SPAN, to get a big buzz going and to call the White House switchboard and, and, and to call Trump Towers around the country. Because that, the, the, those messages get to the president as well and say, listen, we don't want nuclear war with Russia. We want peace with Russia. Russia's Christian now. They're being free market. Compared to the communist Chinese, they're not involved in our business. It's the communist Chinese that have a whole task force threatening us in the South China Sea right now and who are taking over islands and, and just engaged in very belligerent blockade behavior. The Russians aren't doing any of that, and they worked with our military the last five years to try to take out ISIS. And now when they're trying to pull out, the globalists don't want that vacuum there where there's a sovereign country, so they want to destabilize it. It's very, very dangerous. So we've got to stop a potential nuclear war. We've got to stop a potential larger regional war because if you strike the Russian forces, they're going to counterstrike. Then there'll be counterstrikes on those forces. If those forces start losing, then it goes to larger weapons, and we're off the races. The Russians do have those high-powered uh, you know, Mach 5, Mach 6 missiles, the anti-ship missiles and submarines in the Mediterranean that will end up sinking our ships. And you end up getting sinking ships, boom, it's, it's, it's World War Four. World War III was the Cold War. This is World War IV, information warfare, the globalist versus nation states. It's the EU allied with radical Islam, with communist China and Hollywood and the globalists and the Vatican against America, against any sovereign nation, against Christians, uh, against the Russians, against the Japanese and the South Koreans. That's the real alliance against the globalists that's dug into our government. So here they are in the White House right now, counting down to potential World War IV, a new world war. And these people out here, I guarantee you, just watch Comedy Central and you know, think this is all a big joke. This is all extremely serious, ladies and gentlemen. So now inside, let's zoom in on, on one of those windows. Now inside there right now, the president is sitting around his, his council table with the generals and others, and he has been bucking, expanding the war. He's been pushing to get us out of there the whole time, something our Pentagon recommended years ago, but Obama wanted to keep going on. And so now they're trying to use this crisis to push him in right as peace was breaking out and right as the economy was coming back and right as all this was happening, this is now unfolding. So we also should be praying to God for peace and for, and for, and, and for clear-headed thinking and for support for the president because this is a globalist attack on him. And even if he ends up attacking Russia, they're still going to say he's a Russian agent. He could nuke Russia and kill every person in the country with, with a thousand hydrogen bombs. And I swear to God, they'll still say he's a Russian agent because they're the outsiders. They're the globalists that have hijacked the country. They're the ones that have surrounded us. They're the ones that are the swamp. And so they're the outside enemy. They've got to continue to say that we're the enemy, the patriots, restoring the country, restoring the military, restoring our energy systems, restoring it all. All right, folks, that's my last live transmission from D.C. More coming today. Owen Schroyer and others will be hosting in studio, but there'll be more uh, reports as this unfolds. Can't let peace break out. The swamp is striking back, but the people are striking back. So, folks, spread the word now. Get this video out to everyone you know. We need a chain reaction to try to counter the globalists and this clear false flag chemical attack. The last three were confirmed false flags. This fourth one has the MO, the history, everything. So it's critical to get this false flag exposed and to stop the globalists from trying to trigger a larger war that could lead to World War IV. I'm Alex Jones reporting from in front of the White House here in Washington, D.C. for InfoWars.com and NewsWars.com. Now the rest is up to you. Freedom and survival on this planet is not a spectator sport.